Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show how to allow only authorized USB devices in your organization using Intune. So in an organization, you may have a specific USB devices that you only uses in your office premises and uh, only that USB device is workable with uh, the users and, and if the you know user using their own USB devices it will not be uh, using uh, in the in the organizational PC or on their PC so it will be blocked uh, on their in user PC so now we're going to show how to whitelist USB devices by using Intune so first you need to go to the devices configuration profiles and create a profile so here is my intune portal so i go to devices now i click on configuration profiles uh, click on create profile the platform select windows 10 and later profile type select templates click on administrative templates click on create given USB devices so just give it a given name and click on next so the next work that will be done from here so we have done this part now first you need to search this one it is called prevent installation of devices not described by other policy settings so you need to enable these settings just copy and paste it select it click on enable ok so the first one is done so now the second thing to enable is to allow installation of devices using drivers that match this device setup classes so you need to copy that again search for that template click on it now here we need to do some work first enable it and then you need to allow the devices that actually using uh, USB so as you can understand the only the USB drive is not just the devices that are actually using your USB uh, in your USB drive you may using a keyboard a mouse a printer so if we you know uh, prevent the first option the first option we are selecting it will prevent all the USB uh, devices USB peripherals including your printers your mouse your keyboards so we don't want that we need to allow those so for to allow this we need to find the GUID so GUID in the below there is a list of the GUID also there is a Microsoft link you can find uh, the devices uh, GUID class GUID in here so you can uh, you know copy those GUID and then just paste it in here so uh, in this video we just uh, showing some of the common GUIDs like for keyboard in here so just copy this copy this one and give it in here uh, for monitors copy this and then paste it in here for mouses just copy this paste it in here so you will find those GUID also in the link for the network adapters again just copy this paste it in here so for the printers give it for the printers and and lastly we will give it for the smart card readers so these are the you know common uh, uh, the uh, USB devices that we are using if you have you know you have other devices like for the Bluetooth devices for the biometric devices just copy those uh, blue 
setting so copy this uh, GUIDs and just paste it in here so let's say floor Bluetooth for camera CD ROM so there are varieties of the of uh, you know uh, settings in here for keyboard modem mouses so you can uh, copy those and then paste it in here so once you have done it and click on OK so our second portion is done then our third one is that uh, we need to allow devices that match device uh, that match any of the device ID so these with using uh, this uh, you know a template we are using to allow only our uh, uh, USB drive that we want to use because uh, uh, for the uh, for we did not allow the USB drive uh, in that uh, class GUID so we now we need to give a just allow or give uh, the just uh, you know uh, allow uh, only the specific uh, devices or specific USB drive that we need to uh, give permission uh, that uh, can only work as an USB drive and other USB options you already allow it but USB drive is not allowed now we need to set an ex exception that yes only uh, specific uh, pen drive can work in this uh, in our policy so to do that we need to get the uh, devices ID devices instant IDs so we need those uh, settings so to find the device ID for an USB drive let's plug in our USB drive this is our USB drive in here so first we need to go to properties click on hardware and from here uh, double click your USB drive so this is our USB storage drive click on details so in details uh, just uh, click on a notepad so it will be helpful for us to you know collect all those information so first we need to find the device instant path so to collect the device instant path just drop down and click on device instant path copy this one and then paste it in here so first one is done your device instant path is done now look for the class GUID so to get the class GUID search for class GUID this one yeah and then just copy this one this one also done and after that click on hardware IDs so you will find the hardware ID in here so copy all and then paste it so you are done now you are done you get all the necessary information of for your uh, USB drives that you need to use uh, in your organization only the specific USB drives so now just uh, copy this and then paste it in here so you will see that all the information you will get you paste it in here you can paste it at once or you can you know paste it one by one no problem so just for the first part you paste it for the second one you give it and again the rest of it just copy it and then give it so you can give it as a one one at a go or you can use or just uh, you know uh, make a drop down for it and then click on ok so just yeah minimize this so after that you just uh, click on next for the scope tag 
if you have a scope tab you can assign it if not just click on next now you can add it to all user or add any group a specific group uh, I don't have any group making here so I can add it for the all users I have and also add for all devices so all devices and all users are getting in there so and also you can uh, you know uh, create a group that uh, you know at excluded of this policy you can uh, you know uh, have a specific group that don't want to uh, have these uh, you know sort of a policy that uh, assign on on that user so you can click on a group an exception group so in our case we don't have this so click on next okay Uh, it might say take some times okay just click on uh, create so once you create it you can see your policy list in here and it already applied to all the users and all the devices so you can always uh, verify your uh, policy that you create in here so you can you know make the additional uh, you know changes that you and want so from here so as even you know if you add more uh, you know uh, uh, GUIDs uh, for for uh, other peripheral you can always add uh, from here and just click on next and then you just uh, add it so uh, now 